Hey guys, Kevin Jackson here with another command tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to export mailing lists from command and how to format those Excel sheets so they will work with Microsoft Word's mail merge software. So we're going to start by going into command contacts on the left side. You're going to search for the contact list that you want to export. You can do this by using the search bar where you can search different street addresses, or if you search everything, it will pull in neighborhoods. So you'll see I can search a neighborhood here, it's gonna pull up a list. You can also search by tag filters or when contacts were created, a whole bunch of different things. There's a lot of videos on how to navigate this contact page. Um, so once you have your list pulled up, if you want to select more than the 10 that it defaults to, you're going to click on Show 1 to 10 right here, and it will pull up a drop down where you can select 25 or 50. Uh, as of now, that is the max amount you can select or show on each page. Hopefully, soon we'll be able to see all of them on one page to make exporting a bit easier. So, if you have a big list of contacts, you will have to do multiple exports for each page and then merge them into one Excel sheet. Um, so you're just going to click on the check box at the top of the page to select all of them on that page. And then you're going to click Select Bulk Action. And at the bottom, you will see Export Mailing Labels. When you select that, normally it will show up in your notifications right away. So you're just going to click the little bell. And the past week or two, they've been taking a little bit longer to export. Sometimes it takes a few hours or even a day. Um, so there, the tech team is working on that right now. Um, but this is how it's going to look once it does export. You'll see it says it's finished and it's going to give you a hyperlink that you click and it will pull up the Excel sheet right at the bottom of your page. So I'm going to be showing you one that I exported yesterday. So I'm going to pull that up. And you'll see when it exports, it is not a very well laid out Excel sheet. You have name and then address right underneath it. All of the information is entered into cell A. They don't break up the address yet. So we're going to go over how to do that. Um, so the first step is we're going to click on A to highlight that entire column. We're going to go over here to find and select on the right side. We're going to click Go to Special. We're going to click on Blanks, and then we're going to press OK. And that's going to highlight all of the blank rows. And then from there, we're going to go up to Delete and click Delete Sheet Rows to get rid of all those blanks. So now we have Name, Address, Name, Address. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in between A and B and just stretch this out a bit to make it a bit easier to see, because as we copy them over, there would be some overlap. So I just do that to make it a bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch column B as, as well. So the next step is we're gonna to want to separate the names and the addresses so they are side by side. So to do that, we are going to select cell B1, which is the top in the B column. And what I've done is I have put together two formulas, one to copy all of the odd rows, one for the even rows. So you'll see all the names are in the odd columns, one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. So to pull those to a new column, we're gonna copy this right here, which I will put this formula into the video description so you can just go ahead and copy it. I would suggest saving it somewhere. That way you don't have to type it out each time. It will just make your life a bit easier for now until these spreadsheets are exported in a different way. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and copy this formula for the odd rows. We're going to go back into Excel. And again, in that B1 cell, we're just going to copy that code into the formula bar at the top and press Enter and we'll see that that first name is pulled right over. And then to copy that formula down so it pulls the rest of them, 
We're just going to go to the bottom right corner and we'll see that the cursor turns into a little black cross when we go there. And we're just going to double click and it will pull all the different names down. So now for the addresses, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select C1. We're going to go copy for the even rows. And we're just going to paste that formula into the C1 box up here. And once you press enter, you'll see it pops right up. So that name goes right there. And that address goes right next to it. I'll go ahead and stretch this out. And then to copy that down, we do the same thing. You just double click in the bottom right corner of that cell. And you'll see all of the addresses pop up as well. Next, we are going to highlight column B by clicking on B at the top. And we're going to go over here to where these two sheets of paper are. And we're going to click that to copy. And then we're going to go to the down arrow under paste. And we're going to find the clipboard that says 1, 2, 3. And we're going to paste the values right there. That will get rid of those formulas we just put in and replace it with the data. So you'll see in column C, it still shows all of the formulas in the formula bar, whereas column B now shows the names. So we're going to do the same thing with column C here. We're going to highlight it, go over and click copy, and then we're just going to paste the little one, two, three clipboard to paste those values. So now that we have both of these columns set up, we can go ahead and delete column A by clicking at the top to highlight that column. We're going to right click and go to delete. And we'll see that our A and or our previous B and C columns are now moved over to A and B. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to highlight row column A right here. We're going to go up here to data and then we're going to click on text to columns on the right side and then we're going to press finish and then we're going to do the same thing with column B here. We're going to highlight it, go to data, click on text to columns and then press finish. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and get rid of these blank rows in between. To do this, we're going to highlight column A by selecting A up top. We're going to go over here to sort and filter, or sorry, find and select. Just like earlier, we're going to go to go to special and then select blanks and press OK. And that's going to highlight every blank, every blank row. And then we're just going to click on delete and delete sheet rows right here. So now we have our names and our addresses side by side and no blanks in between. So our next step is to divide this column B up so the street, the city, the state, and the zip code are separated. So to do that, we are going to select B to highlight that column. We're going to go up here to data, and then we're going to click on text to columns. We're going to go to next, and then we're going to do the checkbox next to comma, and we will see the preview down here. It will break it up, and then we're going to click finish. Now you'll see there is a few errors here. So when I exported from command, a few of the addresses, but not all of them, had US as the country. The other ones didn't have a country. So to get rid of these US's, I'm just going to click on this top box and drag the mouse down to the bottom. And then I'm going to right click and go to delete. And then this little box will show up that shows how you want to delete those cells. And what I want to do is shift cells left, which is going to take these, shell these cells that are on the right side, and they're going to move them over to the left once these are gone. So now that we've done that, we have all the zip codes in the right column. So this is a good time to go through and make sure you have all the correct names in there. 
And if you see anything wrong with your addresses or cities or states, it's a good time to change them now while you're in the Excel sheet before you go into Microsoft Word to use the mail merge. So I see Colorado here is spelled out. I can go ahead and change that to a abbreviation. And then the last step, once you have all of your columns set up properly, is you're going to want to right click on the number one on the left side and press insert. And then we're going to want to give our columns different headers, which is going to make it easier when we go to set up the mail merge. So we're going to call this name, street, city, state, and zip. So now that your Excel spreadsheet is set up the way you need it for the mail merge, you're just going to go ahead and save it. Let me find out where I saved that before I move on. So it went into my downloads. You can save it anywhere you'd like. And then you can go ahead and X out of Excel now. And from this point, you're going to need to open up a blank Word document. So we're going to go ahead and open up Word, click on blank document. And then at the very top here, you're going to see mailings. You're going to click there and then go over here to start mail merge. You click the down arrow and we're going to click on the step by step mail merge, mail merge wizard. So there are a few different options here. If you wanted to print directly on envelopes, you could do that. I'm going to be showing you how to use labels that you can buy at the store, and then you can print onto those labels and then peel them off and just put them on your envelopes. So we're going to click on labels and then go down here to next. And then we're going to leave it on change document layout. And we're going to go down here to label options. Now this is going to this is where you're going to select what type of labels you bought. So on the package of labels, obviously there will be the vendor, so the company that makes that label. You see there's a whole bunch in here. Typically I will use the Avery US letter ones, so I'm going to select that. And you'll see once you select the company there, it's going to come up with all of the different product numbers. And again, that's going to be displayed on the package of labels you bought. So the one I usually use are the 8160, just generic shipping labels. So we see 8160 address labels there. I'm just going to highlight it and press OK. Now if you don't see the grid here, you can find that by going to Layout and then toggling on the View Grid Lines on the left side. So then we're going to go back to the right side and click on Next. And this is where we're going to pull in the Excel sheet. So you're going to want to do Use an Existing List and then go down to Browse and then go ahead and find that Excel sheet that you just saved. I think I called mine test one. And it's going to pull up this little box here with all of your recipients. So if you wanted to get rid of anyone, you could uncheck them here. I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. And you'll see it populates with some next records there. We're going to go down here to Next to get to Step 4 of the wizard. And this is where you're going to arrange what is displayed on the labels. So I'm going to click on More Items, which is the last option here. And we're going to want to insert all of these so we can arrange them. So you can either double click like that, or you can click and go to Insert. But just go ahead and insert them all and then press close. So we'll see it's only in the top left box right here. So we're going to go ahead and arrange it. So these are the headers that we gave all of the columns on our Excel sheet. To separate them, you're just going to 
click in between the two brackets. So we want the street to be dropped down to the next line. So we click in the middle and press enter. And then we want the city, state, and zip on the third line. So again, we click in the middle and press enter. Between the city and the state, we're going to want to add a comma and a space. And then between state and zip, we're just going to want to put a space in there. Now you'll see it defaults to be on the left side. So we're just going to highlight all of these fields and then press center. So now we see that it's set up the way we like. We go over here to the right side and click update all labels and that's going to update the entire sheet. Now you're going to click on next, preview your labels where it's going to pull in all of your contact information. This is a good time again to make sure everything's correct. And if you have, like I said, this is a pretty small list. So if you have a very long list, it's going to be multiple pages of this. Um, once everything looks good, again, you can edit it at this point. But if everything looks good, you're just going to go to complete the merge. And then you're going to go ahead and print. Once you click print, you can do a certain page at a time, or you can go ahead and print them all at once. And then it's going to pull up your print menu where you select your printer. And if you wanted to print from a bypass tray, you would go into properties and do that. Um, obviously, at this point, you would need to put the labels into your printer, the blank labels. And when you print, all of these addresses will get put right onto those. And you'll just peel them off, put them on your letters or postcards, and head to the post office. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And we will see you next time for the next tutorial.